Mike's World, Tubular. Yeah, yeah, you heard it. This is Mike's World, giving Mike's opinion, Mike's ways, Mike's everything. Agree or disagree, this is Mike's World. If you should YouTube me, oh girl, YouTube a good thing. What's up, everybody? It's another little uh, little episode of Mike's World, a little something to uh, keep you guys entertained. That's what I'm doing out here, giving you guys a little background on me, giving my opinions on the world, whatever, you know, some stuff to keep you guys entertained. Some experiences in my life, I got quite a few. I'm just, just so happen to be one of those people that has had a bunch of stuff happen in my life, lived in a bunch of different places, and had a bunch of different experiences. So that's why I'm very uh, opinionated, you know, wise, been through quite a few things, so... I want to first off start by giving some of my stories, you know, um, that actually happened to me. You know, my experiences in life, some of the things that happened to me, uh, since they did happen to me, you know, I can tell them best. Now, I want to start by saying some of these, when I do these memories and uh, experiences, tell these stories, that they are all true, and I don't condone all of them, and I acted, you know, I was growing up, a lot of them, and you live and you learn, you know, wisdom. So a lot of these stories I would like to tell people so they can, you know, learn from them, laugh at them, make, uh, keep from making the same mistakes and be entertained by them, you know. You can be entertained by my, uh, my uh, misery as it were before, you know. Um, and also get to know me because I'm going to be doing a big platform. I'm, I'm hoping on getting pretty big, you know, doing big things, doing different skits and uh, product reviews and try to bring you guys a bunch of stuff to keep you entertained. So th these are just some of the stories I have in my life, you know, to keep to keep you guys entertained. So as you can see on the thumbnail there, oh yes, the rollover. Man, this is the rollover. Been involved in a lot of things. This was a very a pretty bad car accident I was involved in. Luckily, I was blessed to walk away. So let me go ahead and uh, set the scene here for this for the rollover. I'm about 22, 23 years old, somewhere right around there. Just started legally drinking for, you know, for a couple years. I have, uh, I'm living in northern New Mexico. Yep, northern New Mexico, San Juan County, to be exact, Farmington. Um, I was, wasn't was working that day, and I was a little bored. Decided I was going to go cruising around. The vehicle I had was a 72 Chevy. Short bed, fleet side, it had a 350 small block engine in it, if anyone knows vehicles and knows what I'm talking about it was a real nice vehicle um, Edelbrock carb four barrel Edelbrock carb going to six inch uh, chrome flow masters out of the back I mean this thing roared it had an it was room 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 it was a hot rod I had it dropped very nice fat very nice car very fast you know this was a truck 72 1972 Chevy so you know it was all steel very heavy very heavy vehicle uh, had it all souped up. It was fast, you know. So I'm cruising around town, and uh, I pick up a friend of mine from his house. He decides he wants to go cruising with me. So we, we're both uh, cruising around town, you know. And I'm going to go ahead and say this because this is part of the story, and I don't condone it. Like I said, you live and you learn. And and I had and I drank. I decided I was going to have me a little drink, you know, a few shots of some uh, hundred proof vodka. And uh, like I said, this is a lesson to anyone out there. Don't ever drink and drive. This is a drink and driving story. You know, uh, you, you think you're still in control. You think, you know, I've only had a couple and that's the problem. You don't realize how impaired you really are. You know, anyone who's ever been through it out there knows what I'm talking about. Or, you know, anything like that may know. Or if you never have, understand and listen to my story here. You know, you get a little loopy. You're driving. I'm driving around. I'm 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 buzzed. You know, uh, liquid liquid courage. I'm on a straightaway. It's about four miles long. Come up to the beginning of this straightaway, and just so happens, you know, I come up. It's a two lane road. I come up, buzz a little, and I come up in my '72 Chevy to the light. There's no one in front of me, and just so happens, pulls up next to me. Somebody in a Chrysler 300. A gray Chrysler 300. And all, I'm looking at them and, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Either me or them. One of us revved the engine. Vroom, vroom. 
the other one rev back vroom vroom oh so here's where the problems start you know before you know it we're vroom 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 so we're kind of you know if anyone knows what's going on here we're pushing our engines on each other there's no one in front of us we have a long straightaway so we decide you know i decide we, we me and the other person i suppose are to blame but we both decided it's a good idea we're gonna race we're gonna set it off right there we're gonna gun it you know we're gonna run we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run them you know we're gonna do a little race so we both we're both rum 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 poof light turns green we i punch him i gun him you know to the floor now anyone that knows vehicles will know that the chrysler 300 is a little newer year it's a little quicker on the jump it's a quicker on the gate he he, he got off quicker than me he it was a little bit ahead of me but my truck's got the got the strength got the muscle you know that's a plastic car that chrysler 300 so so after a couple seconds i start pulling on him we're both doing by now you know after about our first mile into this this four mile stretch we're both doing about 65 70. i start pulling on him i get to about 80 he's about about 80 pushing 90 we're both around pushing 80 90. i start pulling in front of him we're both getting around 100 miles an hour nobody's in front of us like i said we got to open straight away I'm, I'm me and my buddy are laughing you know good time right we're having a great time we think it's it's all fun and games okay so we we're going we're going i pull it i change lanes to let the chrysler know I'm, I'm in front of him i'm doing about 120 you know i'm in a i'm in a 1972 chevy and anyone knows that vehicle it's pretty heavy you know we got it's all steel it's we're talking a pretty heavy vehicle so I pull in front of this Chrysler 300. Now we're getting towards the end of this four mile stretch and there's a light. You can either go straight or there's a sort of a curve that hooks left back into town at the, at right at the end of this, this straightaway. So here I am doing 120 miles an hour, you know, coming up on this light. The light's green. and I But I get my car slowed a ways down, but not nearly as down as I, sh as I needed to. I get my car going down about... Uh, I want to say about 80 miles an hour, you know, 85, 70 miles an hour. I'm impaired. I come, and instead of going straight through the light, I decide I'm going to hook a left. Bad move. When I decided to hook this left at, a, at, you know, 80 miles an hour in a 72 Chevy, the traction is just not the same in these older vehicles, and it weighs a lot. So instead of making the left and drifting like I should, uh, my front wheels kind of locked, right? When I went through the intersection, they locked and my front wheels were, it was like I was on ice, you know what I mean, like I was on, a, it, it didn't go, you know, my, my truck didn't turn, it slid straight across the intersection at 60, 65, 70 miles an hour, I'm holding the wheel, my friend starts screaming, I hit, we hit the, the curb head on, right, slide right through the intersection, hit the curb head on, now when we hit the curb, the front end of my truck, poof, shoots up in the air about three, four feet, right there just so happened at the edge of that intersection outside the intersection there was a telephone pole now if anyone knows about the telephone poles they have the uh brace wires the real thick the real the real thick thick wires that have the yellow sleeves on them the plastic sleeves they usually put so people can see them um my truck went right up on right went straight up on on up that wire and bang i landed right on the hood of my on my hood so here we are, upside down. I just skid through this intersection at 80 miles an hour. I'm 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 intoxicated. Thank the Lord, nobody's life lost their life. You know, nobody was injured in this story. You know, and it doesn't usually happen like that. I'm sure there's people out there who have lost loved ones and and, and vice versa. You know, with this type of stuff. Thank the Lord, I lived through this. But uh, anyway, back to the story. So I'm sitting there. We're on the top of the hood of my truck. You know. And something happened with the uh, the battery or something fell onto the uh, uh, accelerator under the hood, and it was a full throttle on 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 the top of the hood. So I turn off the engine, brr, kill it, it kills, it kills. Um, my I'm sitting on the hood like this, because we just slid up that brace wire on the electrical on the electrical post and went, whoo, and bang landed on the hood of the truck. So there we are, landing on the hood of the truck, and uh, and that was, you know, it was bad. It was bad. There we are on the hood of the truck. My friend gets out. He was already in trouble with the law, and he decides it's not the place to be, so he runs on foot 
and he takes off from the scene. I stick around, wait for the police, and I get arrested. You know, that's what happens when you break the law. You get arrested, as you should. Uh, shouldn't have never been out there that day, but that was just something for you guys to think about what happened to my life, you know. Rolled the truck, ended up in the hood, and they ended up towing the truck, taking me to jail. I had to bail out on that, and, uh, you know, that's a whole other story. But for everybody out there, you know, that heard this story, that's another one. Don't ever be intoxicated. There's a reason why they're, they have driving while intoxicated laws. You know, follow those laws. Save somebody's life. I made a mistake, and I learned from that mistake, you know. You learn as, as, as you grow. Everybody out there, another one of Mike's world, you know, the rollover. Don't be racing your truck while, while drinking, you know. That's one thing that happened to me. I, I, everybody was okay and crashing into one, but I learned from it. So everybody out there, you guys have a good one. Another little little mini episode of Mike's World.